going to show you really quickly um, how to use the template I set up for you to collect and record your data and um, how you can make it your own basically. So I created this template um, but it's a view only. You can't edit this one because um, then I'd have everyone in class trying to edit the same document. So what you need to do is save this one for yourself and there's a couple ways you can do that. I would go to file and then um, I'm going to suggest you make a copy of this within the Google infrastructure with the sheets. You can also download this and make it an Excel file, for example, and then edit it on your own computer in, in software that you might already have. Um, but probably the most straightforward is to just make a copy. And when you do that, you get to name it for yourself. So I'm going to call it my data for motion or whatever, data analysis of motion or motion analysis, whatever. And you have a choice of where to put it. My default has been in this folder I call it Weeper Courses, but you have other folders or other places or, or just wherever it naturally saves it. So at that point you say OK. It will open up a new window for you. And here is your data for motion renamed um, and it's being saved. Um, in your own drive right now and you can move it to other places you can star it, you can share it, whatever. Uh, now you have something you can edit so I've set it up for you so that there's already a graph that's being formed and you've got all this potential of data to insert so you're gonna have position data probably like the 10 centimeter mark, and the 20 centimeter mark, and the 30 centimeter mark, and the 40 centimeter mark, whatever you might have some in between, heaven only knows. Maybe all the way up to the 120 centimeter mark. You don't have to put these in any particular order. And then for each of those positions, you will have gotten a time. So maybe my time for the 10 centimeter mark, it took 0.25 seconds to get there. And maybe at the 20 centimeter mark, it took 0.64 seconds to get there. And the 30 centimeter mark, it took 1.07 seconds to get there. And what you're going to see is that as you start inputting this data, you're going to see little points representing what's going on. And you'll start to make sense of what that all could mean. Who knows what the 40 centimeter mark might be. It might have taken two seconds to get there. And that will show something different. Though you know, wherever these data are is what the graph is going to interpret. Maybe it took five seconds to get there. Okay, so it keeps scaling this. If you right click or, or double click or find something to um, grab onto, there's a little three dots up here that often gives me other options. You can mess with this. I've tried to set it up to be something that already is going to work. Um, so if you wanted to and you had a whole other set of data you could come down here to this uh, tab and you could say duplicate this and you could recreate another set of data if you wanted to. You can also change this graph you can resize it, you can rescale it, you can go into the fine-tuning of it and change how this is um, spaced out where the grid lines are etc. But this is the basic setup so that you can save it for your own. Um, it's this kind of thing that we'll be talking about and you'll be using for this lab. Okay, I think that's what I wanted to show you. So good luck. Let me know if you've got questions.